It is Friday, and what does that mean? It means my favorite way, and hopefully your favorite way, to get to know your Atlas recruiter. The Atlas Med Staff, often imitated, never duplicated, Five Question Friday. With me this week, Matt Powell. How Welcome. You Thank you. So you're here in Omaha, right? This doesn't, this doesn't count as a question. You're here in Omaha? <laughs> I am correctly. Currently, uh, yep, local in Omaha. Awesome. And you come in the office every once in a while? Yeah, I've been trying to get in uh, once or twice a week. Awesome. Okay. All right. You ready for this? I'm ready. I don't know if I am, but I'm ready. All right. Let's hit it. Okay. Question number one. Tell me who Matt Powell is. Oh, I was ready for this one. Uh, who Matt Powell is. So I'm a husband, father, uh, family man, son, uh, and uh, obviously, hopefully, your next recruiter. Whoa, there we go. Already trying to sell in the first <laughs> question. I love it. Uh, we'll get to your family here in a little bit. Question number two, though. I, I want to I reach your baseball fan. I'm a baseball fan. All right, here we go. Who is the greatest baseball player of all time, and why is it Ernie Banks? <laughs> so it's not Ernie Banks. <laughs> um, I'm going to go, like, real time, got to see him in his, uh, his first inaugural game and got to see him then finally finish his career as a St. Louis Cardinal. I'm going to go. Albert Pujols. Albert Pujols uh, coming up through the Cardinals organization. Obviously, we, we differ here, but St. Louis Cardinals, best team out there. Uh, Albert Pujols is just somebody who I feel like did it right. He has stayed clean, yeah. at least hopefully for yeah. now. He came up through the Cardinals organization, made his debut as actually Bobby Bonilla, who got hurt in spring training to get him onto the roster. I didn't know that. Uh, and first game, got his first hit. I think in his first series, got his first home run, and 703 later. Yeah. Um, it is really cool for me because my kids had no clue who he was. So them growing up, he was always out in Anaheim and he wasn't oh, yeah. really somebody so they we followed. Know. This last year was really cool when they nice. were like, Dad, is Albert going to bat today? So that was really yeah. cool that he came back for his Gosh. final year. So I, I, I remember reading one of the stories, the, the scout out of Kansas City that found him, right? was just like, you're never going to have a career where what that dude was so wrong. Oh my gosh, he he tortured us over the years. I remember this is, and this has nothing to do with you, obviously, but as Cardinals and Cubs go, we could talk about this all day. It was a rainy day at Wrigley, and we were just getting smoked by the Cardinals. And we, they, the, the ushers went home because it was raining. So we just, we all piled down right behind home plate. And Pujols hit a home run that day that uh, I, you could feel it. When he hit the ball, you could feel it like in your chest. It was so... He hit that ball so hard. So yep. he deserved the uh, the uh, the nickname, the man. The, yeah, yeah. Okay, question number three. You have four kids. I do. Talk about that. <laughs> My four kids keep me busy. Uh, two boys, two girls. So split right down the middle. Got twins right in the middle. Wow. So they always say it's a two for one. Believe me, it's not. They, they bill you for both of them. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no receipts, you can't take those back. Uh, <laughs> they are the love of my life, they're the joy of my life, they are the, sometimes they get you going a little bit on the angry oh, side, man. but then I, st I step back and I go, well what would I have done if I were in their shoes and I would have done the exact same thing yeah. that they're doing. Yeah. I push the bedtime, I push the eating, uh, it's all about fun. Uh, right now we've got all four of them in four different basketball teams and so my wife and I are playing a zone defense across Omaha trying to figure out which games we're going to. From one game to another to another and... And I played college baseball, okay. which is my baseball passion. Um, and I thought, man, there's none of me nothing better than, than the feeling I have playing college baseball. Seeing my kids be excellent at sports, reading, mathematics, you name it. The pride in that is more than anything I got Way out more. of being a baseball player. Yeah, awesome. All right, question number four. Who or what inspires you? She's gonna love this, but uh, my wife inspires me. Uh, my wife is somebody who, she was the oldest child, okay. and she'll say she helped raise her sisters. She took that upon herself. She has done everything, and she's done everything at the, the max amount of energy. She's been in sales way longer than I can imagine, um, and has been su super successful. I look to her for advice. I ask her on a daily basis, like, what can I be doing better? And then her faith life, uh, has just really exploded lately and that's actually caused our family to kind of be closer together. Hmm. Um, we share the same uh, values and, and we know that on the weekend it's not like hey are we going to go to church it's like what service are we going to and the kids really bring that focus and it all Good. starts with my wife. Awesome. All right question number five if you could go anywhere in the world where would you go? Yep and I got this on my bucket list as well I would love to do a pilgrimage in the, uh, the Holy Land. I saw that. Yeah. Uh, I think that would just be amazing. Just the history that's over there, like you think about the history of the U.S. and you're like, gosh, we're only a couple hundred years into this thing. 
just knowing that those places existed that many years ago. Thousands of years, right? It's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. And we've had lots of people go over there uh, recently on tours. I don't care if it's with a group or if it's just my wife and I, I wanna, I wanna go over there and I wanna cool. experience it. That's on my bucket list. I hope you get there someday. Yes, thank That'll you. That'll be awesome. Okay, so Matt, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, keep this timeless. Give me the month and year you started with us as a recruiter here at yep. Atlas. October 2022. Oh my gosh. So as of right now, as of recording, what does that mean? It means he has time. So we're gonna put all of his contact information right down here. If you wanna know, how to juggle four kids in four different basketball games <laughs> all over Omaha. This is your guy right here. So, all right, Matt, thank you so much. Thank you. Go Cubs, go. Go Cards. That's a winner. <laughs> we'll see you next week.